those of us who live in the Arctic understand the terrain pretty well. My hometown of Barrow is full of people who have been trained to observe the Alaska coastal area. They learned it from their elders, who learned it from their elders. As I have learned from my elders, the natural world is constantly in a state of flux, but never at the pace that we are seeing today, the pace of the erosion of the sea ice. The Arctic ice is melting faster than anybody predicted even as recently as a year ago. Now, it's not melting uniformly, it's not melting in the Northwest Passage, but the Northern Sea Route, the Northeast Passage over Russia, is becoming navigable to commercial shipping this summer with icebreaker escorts. What we have gathered here at Alyeska are, are folks that are very local in their perspective, people that have the bigger national perspective and then the international perspective. To have the president of Iceland join us, to have the ambassadors from, from Denmark, from Sweden, we've got uh, representatives from Russia. They are here to share and to help build on what we know and what we don't know and how we can all learn together. I have been involved uh, in discussions on the Arctic, on the North, uh, for more than a decade. And I think it is a remarkable confirmation of how the Arctic of the North has now moved up front in uh, global interest and uh, its role in the global economy and the global environment uh, in this new century is absolutely crucial. What is happening?